weather. Hurricane Harvey is on a track taking it toward Texas. It's a category one with 85 mile an hour winds. It will get stronger as it continues to move to the north northwest. Don't really just focus on that number, the category. You have to really look at how broad the storm is, how fast it's moving and where it makes landfall because that's what controls storm surge and they could easily see storm surge of six to ten feet in some of the bays along the Texas coast. So the wind doesn't by itself control that but this forecast computer forecast model shows all sorts of scenarios possible after landfall which is going to be most likely late tomorrow going into Saturday now in the projected wind speed by mid afternoon tomorrow 125 miles an hour and then tomorrow night once it makes landfall winds starting to diminish Saturday midday winds about 100 miles an hour likely onshore but that's not going to be the end of it as you saw all the different models showing different scenarios we don't know what it's going to do after it makes landfall other than we know it's going to slow down we know easily a foot of rain if not two feet of rain depending upon how it slows but it is possible it could drift back into the gulf and just sort of meander for a couple of days notice the wind projections beyond sunday low end tropical storm but rain will be the big issue this is not something that's coming toward us our big impact is really not going to be in the weather our impact is going to be high surf and rip currents tomorrow so a hurricane warning for the central texas coast and tropical storm warnings surround that they must be ready and take this as a lesson for us we always have to be ready for tropical weather now one of the other factors that controls the wind and the motion is the water temperature and harvey is soon to move into the warmest part of the Gulf. It's that darkest red you see uh, just offshore. So that is part of the reason why it is likely to get stronger. So for the last couple of days, I've been talking about the hurricane hunters. This is a nonstop endeavor to go into the Gulf, sample the atmosphere, figure out what's going on, and feed that data into the computer model. So that's kind of how we know what's going on. And that's also why we see these dramatic changes day by day. 